As you can see, I backed up a few different games on my Switch, but because my SD card is formatted as FAT32, they split into two different files, XC0 and XC1. So today I'm going to show you how to combine those to get one file to use on the Yuzu Switch emulator. So to get started, go to Google and just type in NX Dump Fuse and hit enter. And you should see this GitHub page, so just click on that and it should take you to NX Dump Fuse by Oman Rod. So click on Win 10 X64 if you're on Windows or the Linux if you're on Linux. And it should download a zip file in the bottom left. Once it downloads, just click on it. I'm going to minimize that and we are going to open up this file and drag the NX Dump Fuse EXE file onto my desktop. Close the WinRAR file, we don't need it anymore, and double click on NX Dump Fuse to run it. And when it opens up, you should see this. You will have an input and an output option. So in order to combine two files, click on input and find where they are located. So if I scroll down to my Switch SD card, go into my Switch, NX Dump Tool, that is how we back them up, and XC1, here are my files. Now these are an actual physical game cart backup, so for those I'm going to click on the XC0 file first, and then click open, and you should see it in there. Now click on the output, and here we're going to just pick where we put it. So to make it easy, I'm just going to put it into my downloads and select that folder, and we are ready to go. So just click fuse, and it will begin combining the two parts. When it's done, we can go into our folders, find our downloads, and there we go, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We have an XC1 file, which is the full size, and that is usable on Yuzu. And then quickly, I'll show you uh, just another one. Let's do, so now let's do Super Mario Odyssey. So click the XC0. Now if you backed a digital game up, select the 00 file that is inside the folder with its respective game name. But for me, all of my games are physical copies, so I'm gonna be clicking the XC0 file. So open and fuse. And that one's done. Let's open up my downloads, and now we have both games ready in there to go. But anyways, guys, that's it for the video. A very simple guide, and hopefully you didn't run into any issues. But if you did, just comment down below, and I will try to get back to you. But I hope you have fun playing your games on your Yuzu emulator. Take care.